Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we are ready to go. I'm going to jump right in to this episode. First of all, just covering who we're bringing out. We're going to go with Marcus, Sereth, Artemis and Prisoner 10. I'm thinking this should be a pretty interesting build. We've got Prisoner 10 as our main damage dealer, followed by Marcus. Marcus is going for the uh, crits with that 14% crit chance, as well as the Wounded Dolly, because I think taking this mixed with uh, the Echo Locate, which gives plus five crits received per 25 darkness, and then plus six crits received, Seems like a pretty good combo to me. Going to be a lot of crits received, especially if we play in a bit of darkness. Sereth's going to be coming out here, mainly using his Flux to do a bit of extra damage and knockback. He's just going with the Last Light and Husband's Heart, mainly bringing him for Enlightenment for that stress relieving, uh, stress relieving skills. We'll also probably use like Conjunction around there as well. And we'll see what else we can end up using. Uh, might not end up being the best thing, but I feel like this should be a decent place to bring him. Artemis coming in with the full healing, 30% healing skill, 35% healing skill, and on top of all of that, 15% healing skill. Uh, he's got a lot. Uh, she's got a lot of stress, but I'm thinking we should be able to deal with most of it because we have stress relief from Seraph here. Then we're bringing Prisoner 10. Mainly going for the charge attack, getting that plus 8 speed, plus 12 crit on first round, along with another plus 3 speed. So he's always going to be able to use charge on that first round. Uh, and then plus 20% damage, just to make sure charge does that little bit extra. I don't think we have any trinkets that are specific to this guy. Uh, doesn't look like it. So these are the trinkets we're going with. And I think this should be a reasonably good build. Reasonably good build. But anyways, like I said, I do want to get into some diary entries. I'm probably just going to read all three of these. Because as you guys know, we've taken a small break from the series. And we've got a few backed up. And I want to just like kind of power on through them and people have probably been waiting a while to hear these in the episodes but first of all we have um blank gaming who's written a diary entry for barbara the vestal after the expedition annie was set, sent on she was uh, acting really out of character just from one look you could tell that she was angry i tried to ask her what was the matter but she just told me that she'd fix the problem whatever that meant i'm really concerned both about annie and about what she's planning to do she had been sent with unholy beings before too, but she'd usually just complained. And when that happened, instead of keeping it to herself, uh, complained about it when that happened, instead of keeping it to herself, I'll keep an eye on her. We wouldn't want a repeat of the friar. Indeed, we wouldn't. Next one up is from I yes this guy again over in the YouTube comments. Whether by zealous accusation or as a sense of right and wrong, an ally died today. There is no denying that. Maybe more if the conditions worsen. Does it really have to be like this? Tr uh, truth, uh, petty crimes through this mor morality that humans tend to have uh, people uh, executed. Sorry, uh, I messed it up a little bit. Uh, petty crimes and through this morality that humans tend to have um, people uh, execute, have people executed, burned like witches, hanged for their crimes. The lights in their eyes disappear and cease to be. If anything, it was David who thought it would be a good idea to attack the demon without his power armor on and really deserved what he got then. Life is full of consequences and no one escapes from them, not even me. As I watch this town from the shadows, I start to, uh, start to wonder who is worse. Those who are cursed with demons, those who are shunned for being different, those who are forced to walk again, or those who say that they follow the light. I pose the question, what even is the light? And that's by an unknown author. Again, one more for I yes, this guy again. A little piggy came to the hamlet today and he said he had uh, um, he had good intentions, but I had to tell him that he looked too weak to join. I'm unsure whether he is telling the truth or not, but since people are starting to straight up kill each other, I'm not going to turn uh, down a helping hand or paw or hoof or whatever he has. I told him that whenever he gets stronger, he can come back and be welcomed in with open arms. I concerned for Annie, however. She started berating our most strange friends. I have told her to stop many times and have stopped arguments from escalating. Until one day, I snapped. I pointed to the graveyard specifically, pointing to the many, many tombstones from the incident and said, what you're trying to prove is faulted and there is significant proof for you to look at. She looked at me with a shock and ran into the abbey. I don't care if it was wrong of me, but we don't need another civil war. It hurt the people and damaged many souls. I need another glass of wine. And that's by the town's guard. So then two stories written by two completely different people. 
just tie in together so well. I'm really, I, I love that sort of stuff. But anyways, we're jumping into the Warrens here. I think we're prepared. We should be okay. We've not got any extra bosses here. This is a level five mission though, but we're going in for the old man's pistol. I think we should be pretty good to get that. I'm hoping our healing suffices here. Um, we're going to grab everything we can and jump on in and see how this goes. Like I said, this is a bit of a spicy um, spicy expedition, especially coming in from a break. Uh, for those of you wondering, I played quite a lot of The Binding of Isaac uh, Repentance as it came out. And so I took a break of a few of my other series just to make sure I had time to prepare for that series as well as play it in my own time. Um, so this was one of the series that takes a lot more production value. I ed edit these videos. We have um, dialogue and people coming in writing uh, scripts, uh, uh, backstories, uh, all that sort of stuff. So I thought it was better just to make the sure to put this one on hold for now. But anyways, horrid markings and crude we have idols. to activate three animalistic shrines down. here. So let's go in and try it out. We got this already, which should give us some food, right? Well, hey, that's a measure. massive amount of food. That's going to help out a bunch. We got ourselves some, um, some bloodsuckers already. Okay. Oh no, that's that's really bad. That right there was terrible. Um, eight crits received. Let's go with that. This is going to be really good with the crits received, by the way. Just going to be fantastic. Um, so we don't need to do stress relief. Let's just get some damage off on you. That's quite a lot of damage, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so much. Um, oof. Compute coming out on us. The berry blast. Hurts Marcus a bit, but he should be okay. Next time, we'll get a nice heal on you, so... Let's have a little look. So what, what position can he use this, this from? Echo Locator. I think this is only when he's transformed. So change to Murd Strigori. Uh, buff self pair 25 darkness with minus 15 transform stress. Plus 10% speed. Plus 10% and allies get a bit of stress. So maybe we'll just go for the bleed for now. And let's take out you. Decisive nice one. That even stress relieves us, us a little bit as well. We are going to let our darkness go down a little bit here. Because it is going to help us out. A little bit of light coming out there. We resisted it. Nice to see that it doesn't matter. So now we can heal here. Easy 10 healing. Gather the blood coming in once again on Marcus. He resisted the curse though. Very nice to see. And push you back a little bit. He has turned. Get some more bleeding on you. I love that bat thing. That's so cool. Really good animations for this guy. And just go for the punch. This is random target, so we can't really rely on that for damage uh, on the target that we want. But like that, it's fine. Bit of blight on you. That's fine. We can cure that off. Although Artemis does need the healing more now. But we're not going to cure it off. We're going to heal ourselves up. And take it off with this. Uh, so we can now use our beam, which will stun ourselves, But it does a lot of damage. In, in fact, damage mod 80. 10 to 17. 12 to 90. This is a guaranteed kill on this guy, but it will stun us. We can go with this, which would armor pierce. 6 to 9, 6 to 9, 6 to 9. Um, shuffle, break, guard. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go with that. Damage on everyone. Nice one. Um, guard and ally. Minus a little bit of torch and activate repurse. So let's guard here and see how this works. It actually stealths us as well. Stealth with Repurse seems like an odd combo. Press this nice hit. Give them no quarter. We're getting that minus prop, but when we've got no prop to begin with, it doesn't matter. Ah, that's how it works. Okay. I see now. Nice. 12 healing is pretty good. So how does this work? Stun. Let's go for the stun then, shall we? Yeah, there you go. I like that a lot. So let's change over. Whoa, he looks amazing. And then we could do this, echo locate. Unfortunately, they both resisted that actually. So this is gonna deal, this is gonna be dealing extra damage. We only use this really, don't we? It does bleed as well. Gather the blood coming in. Hmm. The one thing I am worried about really is we don't have a lot of uh, healing like across the board really. Um, free action. So this is a free action. So let's do this. Because this will heal us as well. And then let's target someone for stress relief, which will actually heal them too. There we go. Look at that. That's, that's, that's pretty good healing. And we get that prot as well, remember. Hey, she's um optimist. I'm pretty sure we've got two optimists on the team. Yeah, another optimist there. 
If we had three, that'd be insane. I don't think we have three though. But two optimists on the team. This, these, these guys are, these guys are happy to be out there helping people. Thirteen, great. And we're back to this is a forward one. Forward one for us doesn't actually matter. We can get life steal on this too. So let's do that. Their formation is broken. Nice. Maintain the offensive. Okay. Oh, this is actually a pretty good combo the between these two. Falls, I never really thought about that before, but that's a that's a pretty process. interesting combo. Where we can keep swapping the two out for each other. This we don't need any of that. We don't success. really need that. We've already got one, but we'll keep it on us anyways. So let's reorganize. And yeah, like, I, I keep doing this where I accidentally, like, subconsciously create these really powerful combos. Like, I didn't realize that she also can add crits received. I also didn't realize that he had a, a forward one lifesteal while uh, Prisoner 10 has a forward one uh, main attack. Like, these are just weird combos that end up coming up that I don't predict, but work out really, really well. It's it's very nice to see them happen. And I am I am excited Literally to be back on this game, I have to say. Excited to be back on this game. This 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 game's definitely this series especially is just my favourite. I absolutely love it. Did take on a little bit of stress there. Let's let's give you some monchies. We're not gonna need to camp too much here. This is only a medium, so we only need to camp once anyways. Um let's go through here. Such blockages are so we're always going to stay at 75 light because this guy's going to get extra bonuses suppress. at below 75. So I'm fine with taking a little bit less light going into certain areas. I don't want to do too much because these guys can get extra crits, but we've got surprise there. So that works out for us. Really? This guy outspeeded this man. Are you are you tickling my nerves? <laughs> they are some big hits. That was that was the combo we that we needed. That was awesome. That was really good. Um, crits received on you. Why the hell not? I love that we can stack this amazing crits received build here. So we transform and we echo locate because that destells you. And it crits received fourteen percent. The Doom Drums. Plus another 5 cents. So it's like 20% crits received. That's a... That's a pain. That hurts. That's bad. Fallen Chain is going to drag us forward or stun us. Yes, stun us. That's the one. We need that healing as well. We're going to have to use our Lifesteal here. That's okay though. Lifesteal's still fine. That's going to hurt too. Oh, not too much though. Not too much. Right, we'll go for one Light here. Yeah, let's go for the life steal. Continually onslaught. If we crit with that, how much life steal do we get? Them all. That's a good amount, seven. That's enough for me. So now I think we do this because this heals us and it gives us prop. And then we do the same. I think we do the same thing on you. Because you actually, we should always do this combo because you need the prop, and then, then we get that plus friendly skill um, giving stress relief. So that's going to mean even more stress relief for you guys. Push you forward a bit. And we just keep playing these two with the um, with the darkness uh, and the lifesteal. I like that a lot. This is a really interesting combo we've made here. That's another big hook. Unbalanced. It's another big hook. I think we go with you because you've got lifesteal, so Marcus can deal with that on his own. But there you go. There's that, there's that coming in. Um, yeah. Kill you. Confusion. Nerves heal you a little bit, give you some prop. Massive stress relief there. Stress relief really isn't that big of an issue. And then we go for more of that. You've crit every time so far. This is fantastic. The crits received is, is helping out Success a ton. So, so oh, you got like 18 at the end of that. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Good, get them guys heal up. Make sure we reorganize. We really, Finding really always want to make test. sure that Prisoner 10 now is at the back there. Home. Quest location. Yeah, we've got first quest location here. So, zero. Literally zero. I've never seen that before. This is a bad team for trap disarms. But, crazy. I've never seen zero before. He literally, he's never trained with, um, never once in his life trained with a trap maker Linus. 
But yeah, we're always going to keep our light a little bit low. Got to remember as well that this is going to give us uh, on attack hit. It's going to give us torch and was hit. It's going to take some away. So we'll get rid of that. Shrine has been decimated. Quest location here. Move on through. And we do that again. Open up some inventory slots for us. Rather nice. We eat some. Torch up a little bit again. We essentially want to be going down to 75% torch when we enter a room. Curio, curio, curio. So our, qu our quest is over this way. I'm still going to go through this way anyways. Rather nice. And some reward for a task well Ooh, got some monsters here. Nice surprise, though. These two are dead. At least one of them's dead. Not quite, but... We oh, we didn't even get the bleed. Damn. Still, that's very good, though. Uh, I think we just crits received on you. So... I think we... I think we change over now. It does give us the stress, but then we can echolocate, de-stealth, which is very important, but also get the massive crits received going. And then I think with you, we want to instantly do that. Because then that heals and stress relieves you. But now it means that you can give extra stress relief to everyone else. Look at where it hurts. Vomit. Lots of stuff coming out on us. Good dodge though there, Seraph. Bit of a munch coming on. There's the blight. And Bond Chain again. We really need that to not hit. Well, she resisted the stun though. I didn't know you could resist a stun on a crit. I thought it always hit. Vomit coming out. So, I think now we do the stress relief on you. I think we... We do this on you. Another crit. Wow. And you're on one HP, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Damn it. Um... Uh... It, this is tricky. Who do I heal? I could heal the Blight off of you. 26 health or 25 health? Heal ourselves then, I guess. Nice. You're gone. No more crits for you, sir. We're having a bit of a hard time hitting the back line. More Blight on us. This is a lot of hits on Prisoner. A lot of hits. Right, definitely need to cure that off of you because you've got too much blight on you and you need the healing anyways. Oh, wait. That stress heals herself as well. That's really good. I didn't realize that. I can't believe this guy's got one HP. That's just not funny. First of all, get rid of that. I wonder, is it damage-based healing? It seems to be, yeah. We, we did 12, we got 4, so it's 20%. Wait, no, it says 50%, doesn't it? Oh, we got rabies. Actually, that doesn't matter. We don't need the accuracy. Healing doesn't need accuracy at all. But yeah, this, uh, next two friendly skills, stress minus six, it stress heals yourself, not the target. Okay, that's a bit more interesting. But only on friendly skills. There we go. Nice hit. Need to destroy some of these bodies. Don't don't we have a clear corpses uh, attack? I thought we did. I thought we did. Let's have a little look see around. See who's got it. Someone definitely does. There's some more stress coming in in the vomit. That's okay. Re he's screeching. He's screeching. Um. Yeah, stress heal you. Up your prop. I mean, not that prop matters for you, actually. I just kind of realized that. Um, I thought you... I gotta say, I thought you had some stress relief, but that was obviously not. Get that body out of the way, bring you forward a little bit. Nice dodge. Nice hit. Wow. Fantastic. Pummeled that guy. 
Okay, nice. As Don't really care about the blood mounted, yet again. So too will resistance. So too will resistance. Okay, again another trap here, which isn't good, but there's quite a lot of traps actually. So Sarah, if you can do this again, you need the stress relief for also, so that works out. No one touch that scrawling, please. Right, let's see what we got here. More enemies, no surprise for us this time. Oh no, we got the surprise. Nice. This guy, I think this guy always goes first, no matter what. 32 crit. I love that. That's so good. And the bleed as well. Just a guarantee to, to open up with just insane, uh, an insane start. Heal you up. Make sure everyone's near to full at least. Set up you with the prop and the stress relief. And... Let's try and let's try and bleed you a little bit, shall we? It's gonna take your crits received as well, so that's good. Prepare the slaughter. That's gonna be minus forty healing received. Okay. Every time. Don't stun her. Don't stun her. Yes. They always go for her with ball and chain. Every time. Also, because of the surprise, this guy's gonna get two turns in a row. There you go. Too many diseases coming in here. Yep, I knew you'd get two goes in a row. That's insane. Up to 52 stress so fast. Mental. Ow! This is hurting. Please stop. This is hurting greatly. You gotta go, Sick little piggy. Strike. That does kill you, good. It doesn't kill you, though. That's another big hit, so Marcus needs some healing real bad. No, Marcus! Don't get bled. Thank you. Okay, we gotta switch over. And we gotta feast. We're not gonna get tons of health from this guy, because he's had, he had low. Zero? I did damage to him, you know. I did do some damage. Zero, my ass. Can you leave her alone? Hey, you healed for 15 earlier. Oh, he's got minus 40 healing received, of course. This is bad. I kind of forgot about that debuff. I should have got rid of that first, shouldn't I? Ow! Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. First of all, Get rid of that debuff. Holy hell. Get some of those debuffs on there. You need the stress healing way more. This is bad. This 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 could end this this could end poorly. Hit the wrong guy, but start, happy to have him killed nonetheless. So much stress coming out. Oh my god, what happened? It, it just happened all so fast. Everyone got so stressed so quickly. Don't do it! No! Marcus, I brought you out once. The one time. The singular time I bring you out. A death denied. For now. Oh my god. Go away, little piggy. Need you to stop. My god. This is stressful. Oh, I forgot about the debuff. Heck. Everyone's so stressed from this fight. Oh my god. I could do this. This would heal us up and, st and stress relief. But we need to get rid of these bodies. We've got to be able to kill this dude. Oh, nice. And that's a heal as well. Stress got a bit out of hand there. A trifling victory. And you heal up nicely. Take some food. Get to this room and then camp. This is good. We'll take that on you. Reorganize. 
Nice disarms, thank you. The light, the promise of safety. Oh my god. Right. Camping time. Oh whoa, he's got a wolf? Oh he is a wolf. Whoa, he is a wolf. Right. Let's have a little look what we got going on here. So you've got some self-only stuff that's not very good. You've got some stuff that's not very good. Um. Oh my god. Self-only, minus 50 stress. How much are you on? 61, 44. And that's, uh, it costs two. So I reckon let's do this. Get that off you. Get that off you. You're on 10. Yeah, and then... One companion evolves faster into dark brood. What the hell? What the hell's all this about? Party. Reduce torch lights by 80. 10%... Oh, okay, that's not very good. That's pretty cool. Bypassing stealth. Um, let's go with you. Yeah, that, that seems good to me. Oh, that was a bit stressful. But we're, we're back in formation and we're doing good. Let's just hope we don't come across any too, too tricky combinations of enemies here. Only two more rooms to go. We'll hopefully find our quest in a corridor here. We've got a brigand dude here. Surprise is great. We might be able to kill him. If we hit with this, it might die. Oh, I didn't quite die, but it did a lot of damage. Nice. Minus 20 dodge is fantastic here. Um, I think I'm going to go for this. Change over. How are you at 51 stress already? My god. Ah, we got him. We got our treasure. Now we just got to take care of these more annoying enemies. But at least now we can get rid of the stealth. Pretty easily, actually. That's going to hurt. Yep. Nine crit. Reeling. Blanket fire. That's going to be annoying. Nice. Dodge, everyone. Well done. A brigand cutthroat coming in. A oh, my God. I'm more, more disappointed about the stress there, but that was still bad. Another good dodge, guys. This is the worst thing about surprising enemies. It's like, hey, you surprise them. Now they've got 16 turns in a row. It's like, how about just... Don't give them 16 turns in a row. I do think it's kind of busted that that can happen. Like, I don't really think it should be allowed that an enemy can, enemies can have that many turns in a row. Because none of you are fucking self -mortal. None of you took the debuff anyways. God damn it. That didn't work out really, did it? Oh my god. This is bad. You're on 28 health, 30 health. Go for you then. That actually hit this time. We took the debuff too. Blanket fire is the worst. I really need to activate my repose, don't I? That'd be better. Feast on you. Only four healing there. Doesn't matter who I hit here as long as someone dies. One of you gone. The cutthroat guy should be dead. Yeah, the bleed is going to kill him. Nice, a little bit of healing. I mean, I say a little bit, it really Slowly, is. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Another stress heal on you. Keep that mellow. Heal you up. Good, good, good. Sedated. More blanket fire coming in. More stress. Good. God damn, the stress builds quick. Ooh, okay. We got, um... This momentum. We got this. Plus Push 20 percent stun chance, plus 30 percent light chance, plus 4 speed, plus 15 stress, minus 10 virtue chance. It's not the most amazing thing in the world for us, but I will take it. Also, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's eat up people. We don't need our food for much else. 
Good. Reorganize everyone. Right, just a few more rooms to go. Oh my god, the stress. It's I can tell I've taken a break from this game because I'm coming back and I am my heart's pumping. Curia, Curia, Curia. Quest. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Torch. If only treasure could staunch the flow of other worldly. I mean they're, they're not, it's not really treasure, dude. It's, okay, we got these guys again. Again, the surprise, those who should have an okay time here. Let's get the double kill. You outspeeded him? Eight speed. Eleven speed. Wow. You can take crits received. Good, good. Minus the dodge as well. You take that. Killed one of them in one go. Fantastic. Another one dead. Even better. And on a crit, nonetheless, so nobody. Okay. No diseases this time. No curse. Although this guy kind of has the curse already, so. Let's heal that off of you. No bleeding for you. Ah, damn it. I just want to deal damage this time around. Good. That's going to hurt. Ooh, nice dodge there. Very well done. Gather the blood coming in. A nice cut. No! Why dodge it? God damn it. The beam on you. Another dodge! You! And it stunned him as well. All for nothing. All for nothing. That just feels so bad. He's dead at least. Some bleed on you. No bleed? Okay. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Oh my god. Buried blast, that hurts. Yep, that definitely hurts. And another stun. Oh my god. This isn't good for our team. Only eight damage. But we're ramping up the damage though. I know that's stress on everyone, but I need the extra damage out of this massive crits. And the healing's also great. Skewer again. No stun, no stun, no stun. Nice, nice. You're almost dead. Good, good, good. There you go. We got him. Scary stuff. Very scary Remind stuff. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Right, in case we have a battle in this room, pop on in. Nope. Oh, no, we do. We do. Oh, and we got one of the new enemies, the armorer. We've got to be careful. I'm guessing he gives things prop. Oh, that's one dead already and a crit on 32 on the other. That is a fantastic start when we've got a new enemy about the place. A, momentary a great start. Yeah, you're dead. Good. That's exactly what we needed. I think we just go for you and try and get some bleed on you. I love that animation with the bats there, but the Chris received should help. More stress coming out on Artemis here. It's okay. It's okay. She'll be all right. Reforged. Buffs pro. Minus 20 crits received, plus 30. Wow, that's, that's an insane buff. And of course, we got the surprise, so... These guys got like 16 tens in a row. I'm actually going to do some stress relief here. Um. Yeah, let's let's pull this guy. Ah, unfortunate dodge. Brand. Whoa! Luckily, he's doing it to an enemy that it, it doesn't matter for us because we're killing it with lead. But look at all those buffs: thirty damage, five speed, twelve crit. This guy, I'm so glad he didn't get a chance to buff the hook it where it hurts guy. That that would have been painful. I wonder what he does when he's on his own. Some of these um, enemies that just buff things have some special interactions or special moves when they're on their own. Nice. This guy just crits constantly. It's great. Marcus, I underestimated you, truly. I did. Nice. Did stun us, but we got a lot of damage out there, so I'm happy. Hot calls. That 
That's a spicy move there. But we got him. This was a great outing. Like, stressful. Yes. Stressful. Um, a bit of a bit of Death's Door action. New characters. Really good stuff. Let's return to the Hamlet. And yeah, that was that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Robbed of their writings, the swine a great will way grow back. Evermore ignorant, if such a thing were possible. You got the red plague. Oh my god! She got so many diseases while we're out there. <laughs> so many diseases. Right. The twisting tunnels no Quickly, let's on a quick. And, yeah, you need to definitely go in here and uh, get rid of just all of these. Mainly that one. Uh, prisoner can go in for some stress, I think. He's going to do some praying. Peace through meditation, actually. Let's check out what we got going on. Butcher. Um, no one knew there, unfortunately. Let's check our trinkets as well. A librarian. Extra max health, extra speed. Stealth on attacks if not in position one or two. Interesting. Then here we've got some of these. I think we'll leave those for now. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A nice jump back in to uh, Darkest Dungeon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.